Happy New Year. I am going to paint some flowers and I thought I'd use Times Square on New Year's Eve by KMS somewhere in there. Not sure which of these colors I'm going to use quite yet, but I'm looking at that blue and I think maybe something with that one. Um, so let's just start painting some florals. I think I'll use cherry pie. It's a beautiful pinkish red. And I'm on a bigger piece of paper than normal, so I've got some room. Let's just start, as always, with a rose to take up some space. think some party dress in there would look good. So maybe right into that rose or right next to it. Let's, let's put it inside our rose. Give it a nice glow there. I want to use this ball drop. So I think I'm going to do a very similar thing. I'm going to start with a matte color blueberry cobbler and maybe something a little bit more loose. Happy New Year, Tish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop in some ball drop in there. And then those two colors, blueberry cobbler and cherry pie, they would make a nice purple. So let me mix up some of them. Right, that's a nice mix. Okay. Thank you, I love my cat. <laughs> I think it's time for a few bits of green. So canopy leaves is the green that comes in this little mini set. I'm gonna use that. And let's start doing some little attachments in here. 
very loose. Bringing that together. And then same thing in this blue floral. I really don't paint on big pieces of paper anymore, so this is fun, I must say. Okay. Now a few more as we kind of move down here. I think this is still wet, so if I do something maybe in that blue, we move it down. I can catch a bleed there. Uh, no, I don't ever use drying tools. I always let my layers dry naturally. Um, I know people that do, especially people that work with landscapes or people that like mixed media and want to get onto the next layer. But I'm a very quick painter, you know that. Time for some bigger green leaves. To get some shape to this rose. And separate it from this one. really loving the flow of colors with this one. So I want to do something similar to this on this side. Um, I can see that it's still wet in places, so I'm, I'm going to pop in some confetti. Thank you, Natasha. We'll make that little sort of centers some of these. This purple is one of my mom's favorite colors. That's why it ended up in my Essentials palette with KMS. Okay, so I'm gonna draw in the pink over here. That was cherry pie that I was using. And just a tiny bit of blueberry cobbler. So it's still a purple, but more leaning pink. shift that color a little bit by adding a little bit more of the blue in there. Okay. I'm going to 
go back into Canopy Leaves Green. Make some little connections. thinking about what else I can add. I want something down here. And I don't want to just go into leaves. I want something else because this might just be some, some leaves over here on this side to complement this. So I'm thinking some lighter, bigger leaves here. So what happens when I have no plan when I start a painting? I'm just going based off color here. Maybe. Something a bit more angular. Or like linear here. Let me choose pink. That cherry pie. And then Something like this. And then another one of those. and some of that party dress. And then some green again. that's a little bit lighter and more delicate than just adding a bunch of leaves. And that fills up that spot. Okay. used confetti in these, but I didn't put any confetti in there, so I'm going to do that while I think about how I'm going to end this piece. I can get into this. <laughs> I'm about to get out of it. I think I'm nearing the end of this particular painting, but I do paint loose florals like this almost every day. What do I do with my pieces when they're done? Um, Cindy, mostly I just save them. Um, there are a few that people on TikTok say I'd like to buy that and then I list it on my Etsy account and then that helps. Um, I've got piles of paintings like this, um, all different sizes too. So this one just happens to be a bit on the larger scale side. Um, a few that my mom really likes, I'll give to her. I have a couple that are framed for me. I've painted a bunch for students. Um, 
but the regular florals kind of just end up in a big pile and I save them and then don't look at them, which is a shame. Some I specifically paint for thank you cards, things like that, birthday cards. Sometimes I share those. Um, and now I'm thinking about, again, what I want to add here. Maybe it is time for some falling foliage. Um, debating adding that blue into the green, just to have a different color or keeping it simple. Tish, it is Palacios Paints. Um, I think I only have one or two listings up because I, I mostly put one there um, when I know I have a particular painting that is going to be sold to somebody. And I currently am in the middle of packing up all of my paintings. I'm moving, um, so I can't go through them all with you, but I've done that a few times. Um, you know, this one was yesterday, right? So this one is on Leather Village Handmade Paper, a similar style to this one. It's a little bit looser, just because of that yummy texture of the paper. And then I've got the wreaths, golden wreaths that I've been doing recently. Here's one with ink. So basically I do these kind of recap paintings that I've done recently and then that's when somebody chimes in that they love that particular piece and they like it. Um, depending on the size and amount of detail, it's something like $25 for an original. Thank you, I love my cat. And I price them low just because I do want people to be able to own one of my paintings and I have so many. So I'm not gonna put a high price on it so that people can't afford it. I, I just paint so much that otherwise it's just gonna be in a plastic bin sealed up. And then, so these are slightly smaller. So these would be something like $20. Thank you, Allie. Nail art was my first art. <laughs> and then this one, which I, I might have to give to somebody. And this one might have to be unlisted. I think this is going to a particular person. Um, here's some shimmery ones. I know some people love the metallics, some people don't. Um, I really love how these petals turned out. And then one with ink here. The ink detail really completes this painting, I think. One of my recent favorites. And then we've got some blue florals here. Got a touch of metallic in that one. This is my favorite style of flower when I can't think of what to paint. I end up doing something like this. And then I have um, some leaves from the fall. It's a little eucalyptus on that handmade paper. Yes, uh, the ink ones definitely are some of my favorites. Um, I, I like spending that extra amount of time on them if the florals just come out too loose and they need a little something extra. The ones I don't want to part with and call done just yet. So this one, um, I do like how loose it is. This one's not going to get any ink on it. I still have to think about the leaves over here. So I'm going to do a little testing of that green mixed with that blue and see if I like the color or not. Otherwise, it's just gonna end up being that green. So that was a little blueberry cobbler and canopy leaves. Okay, I like it. Okay. Mm. I think 
we're going to do some eucalyptus. It's been a while since I've painted it. And I, I do love it. I'll do a few strands of that in places and then maybe go back in and fill it with a, a different leaf. We'll see. It's usually my, my filler at the end. Does anyone else have plans for painting with watercolor in the new year? Sometimes I come up with a paint-related resolution. Um, I think it was, you know, paint more landscapes last year or something like that. I don't have any for this year. Just gonna continue painting whenever I have the chance. This is the palette with um, some of my dog's hair on it. I cleaned it off semi-recently. So it's not super messy, but that's where I was doing my mixing with the pink and blue. And then this is my eucalyptus green. It's funny, I can go back and, and I remember what painting was with what little pile. <laughs> Tishy just want to paint more, period. It's a good goal. And I love my cat. You just started, just paint something every day. Um, what I did last year in January was I cut really small pieces of watercolor paper. So something like at least six from this sheet. And then I just painted on the small square. So one or two florals. Um, I actually have to go back to packing up some things. So this one I might not finish during the live and I'm sorry, but I really enjoyed chatting with you as I went. probably won't be back later. This is my last day of break before I go back to teaching, so I'll have time for a quick one tomorrow, but that's gonna be it, I think, for the week. Pretty jam-packed with tutoring, so thank you, Tish. I'll be in the same space for the next couple of weeks, but it's kind of consolidating, packing everything that I can pack. I've got just a few essential little mini palettes that I'm keeping with me until the last week or so. Um, very exciting stuff. And hopefully I'll, I'll be able to have a whole art room. So very excited about that. Um, thank you. Yes. Happy New Year, everyone. I'll be back for a short one tomorrow. Allie, you're going to paint a sunflower. Oh, that's very sweet. That's a great thank you. <laughs> yes. Right now, Tish, I'm, I'm at the kitchen nook and I am painting, so I need a little bit of space. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your first day of 2024, everyone. Paint with you again soon. Thanks for joining me today.